The Yorktown class carriers were made with some limitations by the Washington Naval Treaty. Originally two of this class would be built, these being Yorktown and Enterprise, but due to extra tons added for carriers to the United States Navy, another one, Hornet would be built. Each would displace 19,800 tons at standard displacement. Length was at 251 meters, beam at 33.4 meters and draft at 7.9 meters. Propulsion would be provided by nine boilers and four shaft geared turbines, giving each 120,000 shaft horsepower. Speed was around 32.5 knots. Armament consisted of eight 5-inch guns in single mounts as well as 50 caliber machine guns. Four quad 1.1-inch anti-aircraft guns were also added for and aft of the island, two on each side. One hangar was placed with three elevators placed along the flight deck. Yorktown was laid down in 1934, commissioned in 1937, Enterprise laid down in the same year as Yorktown and commissioned in 1938 and Hornet was laid down in 1939 and commissioned in 1941. All three ships would be built at the Newport News Shipbuilding Company, Newport News, Virginia. At the start of the war in Pacific, Enterprise was near Hawaii when Kidobutai launched attacks, but couldn't intercept them. So she was sent out to do raids on the Marshall and Marcus Islands. Yorktown joined Enterprise and would raid Gilbert Islands on December 17. Yorktown later attacked bases at New Guinea with the help of Lexington. Then these two took part in the first battle of aircraft carriers, the Battle of Coral Sea. She would contribute to the sinking of Shoho and damages made on Shokaku. A dive bomber scored one hit on Yorktown, and the bomb penetrated multiple decks before exploding, causing significant damage. When she limped to Pearl Harbor for repairs, it was estimated that it would take months for repair, but she only had three days. Just before Coral Sea, Enterprise escorted Hornet, which was carrying B-25 bombers and would take part in the Doolittle raid, and attack on Tokyo. So all three were sent off to counter the Japanese at Midway, where multiple flight deck launches were made to all directions, and so small attacks with single air groups would haunt the four Japanese carriers. Hornet sent off her strike in what is known as the Flight to Nowhere, where her dive bombers were sent off but found nothing, while VT-8, the torpedo bombers changed course, and later found Kidobutai, but was shot down in its entirety. VT-6 found Kaga and attacked it from two sides but combat air patrol shot down most of the air group and Kaga survived. Then VT-5 arrived and attacked Hiryu, but this squadron was protected by four Wildcats, that forced all combat air patrol fighters to descend and attack. One Wildcat and some TBD devastators were lost in because of the descent. Three squadrons from Enterprise and Yorktown found Kidobutai in its most vulnerable state. Yorktown's Dauntless has attacked Soryu, landing three bombs on the deck. Kaga was attacked by two squadrons of dive bombers from Enterprise, and at least four bombs, landed on her flight deck. Three Dauntlesses from Enterprise went to go for a Kagi, and Lt. Best landed a bomb right in the middle of a Kagi's deck and because of fueled aircraft as well as bombs and torpedoes not stored properly, multiple explosions inside their hangars occurred and these ships would later be scuttled. Here you survived this massacre and sent out an escorted strike of dive bombers and despite Wildcats intercepting and shooting down 11 Vales. Seven managed to drop their bombs with three of them hitting Yorktown. Power was lost but with some quick repairs, she sailed at around 20 knots but a second attack of torpedo bombers scored a pair of hits on Yorktown's port side and her crew abandoned in the carrier. Then a strike from the remaining dive bombers were launched on Hiryu, and four bombs landed on the forward side of the ship and Hiryu sank the next day. Destroyer Hammond transported some repairmen to do some repairs but the submarine I-168 sent off torpedoes, one hitting Hammond and sinking it and a pair of them hit Yorktown and she later went underwater. Then after the start of the Guadalcanal campaign, Enterprise and Saratoga took part in the Battle of Eastern Solomons, where Saratoga sank Ryujo and Enterprise got hit by bombs from Shokaku and Zuikaku, but she was patched up. Both Yorktown-class carriers were fitted with multiple 20mm Orlikon cannons, giving them much more protection. Then Enterprise and Hornet fought the Japanese at the Battle of Santa Cruz, where Dauntlesses from Enterprise damaged Zuho and Shokaku as well as the heavy cruiser Chikama. In return, Enterprise got hit by three bombs and survived, Hornet however didn't, as she was hit by three torpedoes, three to four bombs and two dive bombers crashed on her flight deck. Then Enterprise supported invasions on other islands and took part in both Battle of the Philippine Sea as well as Leyte Gulf. She would support Marines at Iwo Jima and Okinawa. Then. On May 14, Enterprise was put out of action by a kamikaze, which crashed on her forward elevator which caused significant damage. By the end of the war, her final armament was 8 single 5-inch guns, 40 40mm bofors and 50 single 20mm Orlikon cannons. 
Her displacement was just over 32,000 tons. She was sadly scrapped in 1960. Enterprise was credited with a presidential citation as well as the Navy Unit Commendation and 20 Battle Stars, making her the most decorated ship of the United States Navy in World War II.